produces and heirs. The Seventh-day Adventist Church is committed to send a message to countries like China, India, and other parts of the world on shortwave because that's the only way we can reach them. This year we have our 40th anniversary of Adventist World Radio. Finally this week, let's hear from church historian David Trim. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. On October 10, 2003, the Hope Channel launched. After fairly modest beginnings, today it's broadcast on every inhabited continent of the world and in nearly two dozen languages. On October 12, in 1945, Desmond Doss was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. He was the first conscientious objector to receive this, the highest medal for bravery in the United States military. Doss had served as an Army combat medic in Guam and at later in the Philippines, where he received a Bronze Star. On May 5, 1945, on Okinawa, Doss stayed with wounded men stranded atop near a ridge under intense enemy fire. Despite being wounded, he stayed with those men and was later credited by the government with saving nearly 100 lives. On October 14, in 1840, the first Millerite General Conference opened in Boston, Massachusetts. It had been decided that the Millerite movement, which was growing and taking off needed organization, and this first conference took place in Boston at the Chardon Street Chapel, pastored by Joshua V. Himes. Almost 200 clergy and laity, representing a wide number of churches, were present. And on October 15, 1984, the Adventist University of Central Africa opened in Kigali, Rwanda. It had been founded in 1978, but it didn't officially begin classes until this date. Closed during the genocide in 2006, they started a new campus at Mosoro, and today it's thriving. Thanks for joining us here at ANN Weekly. Join us again next week for more news from the world headquarters of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Until then, visit news.adventist.org for daily news and videos. God bless.